what Smirk does differently this time. Uh, oh, oh, I thought we were going to see the Game & Watch switch. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine? I mean, Pink Menace does not have to switch. It's, the, the Samus has been working, except for against Shu, the Samus has been working very well. I love Terra gameplay. I'm so excited. Three, two, Starting All right. Would you like to make a Cholula bet if something happens this game? Uh, got to drink one of these? Hell no. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> You're a smarter man than I. <laughs> jab, jab, power dunk. And, uh, it's a very easy combo from Ken. Very, or er, excuse me, from, um, you know, blonde haired Shoto. Whatever. They're, They're all the same to me, man. They're all the same. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Pink Mass, once again, looking like he's going to do exactly what he did last time. Just use his range and call out some of Terry's options, some of his defensive options, his rolls and whatnot, the charge shot, and build so much percent. The way these moves interact is not good for Terry at all. No. So many of Samus' options just get right in there and just mess with his Ooh, I was looking so for an up air follow-up off of that. Yeah, Smirka got many of his kills uh, last time they played off of up air right attack. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting to see there, but uh, knowing that now, he was probably trying to mix it up. Wow, that actually catches Samus. Okay. Yeah, and getting his Gogurt uh, from those bombs. So, not the worst position to be in. Oh, the Buster Wolf! Wow. That's actually got to be pretty good because the range Pink yep. Menace is forcing to play at is good. For oh, no! Yeah, we what see another that? call out on it. And maybe this is the reason that he went with Terry, is so that he can use the Buster Wolf to get out of the spacing that Samus is going to try to use. Yep, and wow. see it again. Smirk, Smirk, something has changed between this last game. Whatever he's doing, whatever he's done, uh, I need some of that because he's just got the X Factor that was not there for him last time. Ooh, trying to stall, I think. Using the, uh, the power wave to try and stay above the charge shot, but I think he was just a little too close to it. Yeah. Okay. At almost like off stage, off but he gets back pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Good job avoiding his projectiles and punching him. Take it. Yeah. Yeah, that armor's not strong enough. And I think Pink Menace is being a little aggressive while he's coming back to stage. Uh, we're seeing a lot of forward airs. We're seeing a lot of charge shots. Uh, and it looks like Smirk is being able to call these out and just take advantage by playing a little slower. Yeah. Smirk so. is Smirk is doing a great job, especially compared to their last set. Not to say, you know, he, he didn't get destroyed. Pink Menace played super well, and Smirk was just having a tough time answering, especially Charge Shot or um, some of his up airs. Mm -hmm. But now, I mean, when he got, I think he might have tanked that. Okay, go coming out. And Terry, wow, getting back. I would not be surprised if he, if he chose to get hit by that Charge Shot, honestly. Um, just because Go did so much for him the first time around, and he just wants to use his Buster Wolf. Yep. Because uh, Pink Menace is having a really tough time answering it. Great air dodge mix up there to get back to stage for Pink Menace. He's definitely still in this. All it takes is one string with Samus. And uh, oh, let's see, he's throwing out these bombs, trying to create this space as we expect. And will that take it? No, not even close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was honestly considering that that would get the kill. Um, I guess without the rage. Oh, and right. Go already coming out. Wow, that yeah, charge shot to go a lot of percent. The Go online. Oh, but he's going to hit that charge shot again. Wow. Getting back on stage. Oh, goes for the down smash there. Very Maybe patient. Two frame. Nice. Forcing to use the charge shot. And the wow. Buster Wolf. The Buster Wolf. That Buster Wolf is doing everything for him. Yeah, not to say he's carried by it, but just but just like the, when he gets that, the way he's using it is insanely effective. I think that Pink Menace is going to have to seriously think about percents this next game. Yeah, uh, I think Smirk was just getting a lot of good reads in that first game. Uh, we saw it there at the end. Uh, we'll see how Pink Menace responds, but very, very, very close. All it was was one shot on either side, and it would have been game, so. Yeah, these are the games we like to see. I mean, tense for them. Not the type of game you want to play usually, especially this far into bracket, but for us, you know, 
For us, it's better content, so yes. we'll take it. Yes, we love this content. Okay, so we'll see how Pink Menace is able to change things up. A good up B there. We were seeing him do that against Shu. He was having a lot of great up B callouts. Uh, but we'll see how he can switch it up here in order to avoid what I'm assuming is going to be just the Buster Wolf, which was kind of the difference there in game one. So Yes. Maybe, maybe Spurk was going for it their last set, but... I mean, their last set, he, he was not able to use Go almost at all. Oh, no! That's going to be a zero to death. Not what Smirk's going to want to yeah, see here in game two. I, I think whoever invited, whoever sent that invitation to Terry out when they had the uh, just general information, they forgot to mention you need to grab onto the ledge. Yeah. Terry really struggled with that. He just, for some reason, just glides right past a lot of that time. And it's going to put Smirk at a full stock deficit. Yeah, and... Without that Buster Wolf, this is just a difficult matchup for Terry to deal with because, I mean, how do you get in? If you yes. get in, you get the combos and you get the strings off for sure, but, I mean, Terry's projectile is not exactly incredible, so he's going to have a tough time here, as we see, getting in. Mm -hmm. uh, lots Pink, of forward Pink Menace is really used to the way people try to approach and punish those. Absolutely. Oh, and man, a great of punish. Pink Menace is absolutely running away with this game. He's got so much momentum in his court and a full charge. A good air dodge from Smirk, though. Okay, good combo there from Smirk. And you can't really count Terry out, right? Uh, I mean, Smirk, an incredible player. If he starts to pick up on yes. what Pink Menace is doing a little more than he has here in Game 2, we could definitely see a turnaround. Yeah, and the it, Terry's comeback mechanic is something you do not want to forget about. Yep, absolutely not. Uh, okay. Luckily, he, he got those early kills twice in a row, so he did not really get to use that Buster Wolf. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, nice. wow, okay, great call out there. I really like the way he is um, clashing with his missiles. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see Pink Menace go for a few more aggressive options as we saw that charge shot off stage to try to take this one and wrap it up early so that he doesn't have to deal with that go. Yeah, I think that's well said. I think that's definitely what he's doing. Um, and Smirk's trying to not let that happen, obviously. Yeah, and... One thing, I think the reason he's been able to do this is just his, his ledge trapping game and his edge guarding game has just been really, really online. Okay, go in play here. Um, this could change good and bad for Smirk, just because he's at such high percent, but mm -hmm. if he's looking for the comeback, this is definitely oh, the time. No. Wow! Just barely out of range there. A rare and insanely rare drop and input, I believe. Even um, with I go, that's almost going to take it here, but... Oh, nice wow. call out! The parry on the missile! Into the power geyser. That was very clean. Okay, so Smirk has a whole stock to go here, but he's got go, like we were talking about before. Pink Menace is just vibing out. Yeah. Roll distance. Just kind of both players back. being very patient here. Um, Great air good dodge. air dodge to get a. Oh. Nice. Oh, thirty-one percent. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, Pink Menace has got to close his stock out. Up throw, not going to take it quite yet. Terry, we're just kind of a big now. boy. Yeah, Terry's surprisingly heavy. Yeah, he is. Smirk is trying to rush down now. Oh, the charge shot is gone. This is a tough situation. He's got to close the stock out as soon as he can. Wow, and Smirk two living at two, not taking it. Okay, so Pink Menace just needs one hit match. here, pretty much. Uh, but can he find it? We'll see. This has oh, been an incredible shield. comeback either way so far from Smirk. So. Oh, wow. Oh, what okay. a great use of that that crack shoot to cover the the tether. That was that was insane. Wow. Smirk just being... Wow, okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely gonna, going that's to take it. it. Okay. When Pink Menace is standing at that distance and he's got the charges and he's going to keep throwing them out, it's only a matter of time until you get hit by at least one. Definitely, yeah. Uh, incredible comeback there from Smirk, despite the loss. Almost the reverse 3-0. Almost, almost. Dying at, uh, dying at like nearly like between 50 and 70, I think? Twice? This is game three. This will be game three. It's 1-1. Yeah, 1-0. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it is 1-1. Okay. I was confused. <laughs> I was like, wait. Am I, I confused myself. I confused myself. I've been there. These headphones honestly squishing my ears. My ears are oh, really, really big, so like they kind of press down on them. I feel like I have a headache from not eating. So, oh man, I got a Clements on my backpack. You want that? No, I'm good. I, I low key have a granola bar. I just don't want to eat it like on stream, be like crunching. <laughs> that would be so annoying. That would be pretty funny though. 
Speaking of crunching, Smurf had a pretty nice looking string there, but it really got reversed pretty heavy by these voters. And it's crunch time here for both these players, so... <laughs> nice. Okay, um... Pink Menace, the way he uses these bombs is insane. I feel like he's just throwing them out a lot, knowing that it's going to force Smirk to avoid them. And then he can get zero, fo zero follow-ups, he can get the forward air follow-ups that we've seen multiple times. Uh, Zara to get back to stage. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay, also... Okay, that's a good mix-up. Ooh, the foot connecting. Oh, but his foot connecting back! Oh man, that grab came out just a little late. He was definitely expecting the charge shot. Um, air dodging, going low, yep. and these bombs just are just going to keep pressing him with the bombs. Yep. Wow, great down smash there. Yeah, Pink Mass really loves going for that, and sometimes it feels like it's impossible to stay out of. <sighs> and racking the bomb on just nice reducing 30. those options from Smurf too. Mm -hmm. Terry's already difficult ledge game. Has, is being pushed to its absolute limits with these bombs. Dash attack almost killing. Sending right into the corner. And max rage here for Pink Menace. Oh, wow! Great DI! Oh my okay, gosh. order to get back to stage. Such nice. an aggressive return to stage there. Yeah, Pink Menace likes to use these aggressive returns, but at the same time, I mean, the opponent's not going to punish you. It's free damage, so... Yeah, and, and if you're, you're a smirk and you want to just... You want to kill them, you don't really care how much you take. Okay, and Smirk down 3-1 again here, but we saw the comeback almost last game, so we'll see what he can get going here. Yeah, Smirk's definitely going to need to close this stock out as soon as he can. Good air dodge, stay away from these grabs. Smirk is looking for a grab right now, and I'm not sure what he gets off it. Oh, the dash attack! Wow. Finally killing! Yep. Not a good situation for Smirk to be in. Wow, he is so comfortable with the ranges, just barely avoiding these airs. Yep. And I'm impressed with how comfortable Pink Menace is being with just kind of throwing out the charge every chance he gets to make sure he always has that pressure. Mm -hmm. One thing Pink Menace is doing exceptionally well, and that he usually does very, very well, is he'll charge, he'll get the like a little bit of charge, like anywhere he that he can. The way uh, I'm sure you've seen um, Slow play DK, he does the yep. same thing. They just get a little bit of that neutral B charge, so that way they can just yep. optimize how often they can use it. <gasps> wow, nice and that's spike. Gonna be a great spike. Okay, so here we go. Very similar situation to yep. last game. Very possible comeback here from Smirk, but uh, it's still going to be a tough one for him. Ooh, the down tilt catching. Yep, there he goes. He's going, charging it again. He's got almost full charge. That shot will kill, and yeah, it does. It does. All right, okay. do you think we'll see a, a switch from Smirk, or do you think we'll, we'll stay Terry? I honestly don't know much about Smirk's playstyle, so I have no idea. As far as the matchup, I would say Terry might be a little better than Ken, yeah. just because I feel like the Buster Wolf might be more helpful. But we haven't seen as much use of it in Game 2 and 3 that we saw in Game 1. And I think that's more of a credit to Pink Menace, because he is just dominating in neutral with this space. Yeah, he's doing a great job of closing out the stocks before he can really get that go. Oh, a little Smirk bit of Ryu, contemplating Ryu, here. Ryu? Big. I would Ryu? like to see Ryu. Yes! The Ryu shout-out. And the 619 shout-out. On the tag. I think he's... I, I'm, I'm not sure the reason behind it. I know that it's sound just because Smirk is so familiar with these characters and the little intricate differences. Yeah, I, I feel bad. I don't know much of anything about either of the characters these guys I'm are familiar with Terry, us, so. and I've bothered Smirk enough to know some about Ken. Uh, <laughs> but Ryu is somewhat of a mystery to me. I know that the main difference between the two of them is Ryu is great at kind of setting up a big wall and just being almost impossible to get through sometimes. Okay, so maybe that's the reason for the switch then. Oh, and a nice down smash call yeah, out there I from like, Pink Menace, like predicting the, the dodge away. He's got he's got Ryu off stage, and that's going to secure the kill yep, for him. definitely. This is well played, Pink Menace. That shard shot is looking mighty big. Oh. Air dodge away, staying out of the grab. 
Oh man, he really wanted that read to just kick him. Is just waiting for these for these landings. Just just, blast the, up the charge just shot. Being patient and, and waiting for a punish. Oh, aggressive down air there. Yeah, that down air is. I really like that down air. It's got a, a cool animation too. Yeah, I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more down air takes from uh, Pink Menace here in this matchup. I, I think he just knows to respect the get up options. Absolutely. Have. Yeah. Um, not get up. The the uh, uppies. And I don't know the frame data on. Nice the down air from Samus, but I'm assuming that if he whiffs, he could get Shoyuken coming back to stage, right? I could definitely see that. Nice. Very patient. Getting a grab, putting him off stage, setting up for the ledge trap. Oh, but he's going to get up for that, and nice. that almost kills. And one thing I'm noticing in this matchup is that he's using this up B as a mix-up rather than a consistent option. Wow, and that charge oh. shot landing right on him. Yeah, that was really a... Oh, Smirk is done. Wow. And, um, oof. Smirk, uh, giving not, it away there. Probably not too happy. He Seemingly. did not look very happy. Seemingly. Uh -huh.